stick and without one is able to kick the puck to the neutral zone. Griffins oh into the corner they go and Glenn Denning just hammered Drew Bagnall. Bagnall takes a whack at him and Glenn Denning turns around and says hey I'm real willing to go if you are. Now we're going to get a fight here as Landon Ferraro dropped the glove with Waugh. Frederick Waugh and Landon Ferraro squared off. And they go Waugh through a left. Waugh throwing rights but not connecting. Now he got one in there. Ferraro go. Big rubber cut by Ferraro. Now he's got the left hand going. He's got one trouble and down he goes. I'll tell you, Landon Ferraro, a guy that's not that big, Mike, but he's a tough kid, man. He's not fought that many times, but when he has, he's always fared very well. No, he does a nice job. You know, you, see, you just want to see how a guy handles himself. He does a nice job there, fights a comparable uh, opponent. Again, two goals on the night, now the fight. Now he just needs to pick up a uh, assist here for the remainder of the game. Looks like it's going to be a third period. He'll be done for this whole period. But uh, Roy fought what he got one in there right at the beginning. Well, got the one in right there at the beginning, Adam. But, yeah, uh, one right cross yeah, there. Yeah, good for Landon, good fight for him. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, you say it's a hockey fight. What is it? You know, it's just two guys mad at each other, but it's not. You know, guys do it for various reasons. Uh, and, uh, you know, the Rochester players showing that there's still a lot of game left, and a lot of fight in his team, literally and figuratively. So uh, standing up for his team and trying to spark his team a little bit. So land a nice job. Yeah, yeah Juan did. You should be happy with that. Juan did well at the beginning. He did land a couple of punches, it looked like. Pretty good